first half of day three here on court two. And we have another six matches to go, starting off, of course, with the women's singles match. Kim Gaon of Korea taking on the number 13 seed, Busanan Ongbam Rungpan. That's what's coming up here on court two. And just looking at the women's singles draw and the quarter that these two are in, the winner of that match will play the defending champion, Akane Yamaguchi, in round three with the likes of uh, the number eight seed, Gregoria Mariska Tunjung, or even the home favorite, one of the home favorites, I should say, Lina Hoima Kersfeld, Han Yue, all waiting potentially in the quarterfinals. And, uh, well, I keep saying this every day, it does not get any easier. In fact, in the World Championships, it's hard from the start, I'm pretty sure. So that's the match that's coming up, and to keep us company for this match and uh, a couple more is women's singles player Kirsty Gilmore. Kirsty, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, this one, of course, a, a discipline that's close to your heart. <laughs> yes, I think I'll enjoy uh, commentating on this one. Um, I'll have plenty to say, I'm sure. I know. <laughs> I, uh, you know, you just, of course. Uh, we're here playing here yesterday and day before yesterday. Unfortunately, your campaign ended yesterday uh, to Bay Wenjang. But how have you enjoyed playing at the Royal Arena? It's been absolutely lovely. Um, it's a huge arena. Um, I don't know if it kind of translates onto screen for people watching at home, but this is an absolutely cavernous space, um, which has actually brought a little bit of kind of wind to this European world. Yeah, the sideways drift. Yeah, <laughs> we rarely have to deal with a sideways drift in Europe just because it's not, you know, bakingly hot and we don't have to crank that air, air con up so often, but it's, uh, it is on in here. So that's, uh, as well as dealing with your opponent, that's another element to have to deal with. Um, and we've seen it kind of catch a few people out so far. Um, whether it's been deciding points or deciding matches, um, it's it's a tricky one to to have to think about. So we'll see how these two fare with it. Um, have they both already played matches so far? Yes. Uh, Kim Gaon has. Busanan yes. being a seeded player. Seeded player. Has Part not. Day. As we see, this is uh, their fourth meeting. Busanan leads the head-to-head 3-0. -head the last time they met was at the black. Malaysia Open last year. Service. In the first round, Busanan won that in straight games. And, uh, well, previously they met also in 2022, and that was in the Indonesia Masters. Second round, Busanan straight games. It's all been straight games in Busanan's favor, as far as history is concerned. But Busanan is coming off an injury. She's been missing tournaments uh, since the middle of the year, Indonesia Masters, sorry, Indonesia Open. She decided to skip. She decided to keep the Taipei open and tried to come back at the Canada Open, but then it didn't work out. So she is coming off an injury. So that's going to be interesting to watch. Kim Gaon, now 25 years of age, from Ulsan in South Korea, ranked 18th in the world. Her highest was 15th, and that was in March of 2020. Her win-loss record this year stands at about 21-19, so it's pretty close, uh, pretty even in terms of number of wins and losses. More interestingly, in the second round, she stands at 6-4 in the win-loss record this year. Her round one opponent was Kristen Kuba, and that was a big, big match. It went the distance. It pushed her to the end, 61 minutes in total, but she came through that challenge in three games. Busanan Ongbam Rungpan, 27 years of age from Bangkok in Thailand, 13th in the world, 13th seeded, of course, in the tournament, has broken into the top 10. That was in November of 2022. Her win-loss record, unsurprisingly, is 10 to 9. And that's because, she, A, she's not played a lot of matches. And B, she has struggled with injury this season. In the second round, and this is a surprise one, she's 1 to 5. Her only win in the second round this year came at the Malaysia Masters. That kind of tells you the tale of her sort of form and why she's not been at her best. And, uh, well, firstly... As we see the officials for the match, the question is, what can we expect from these two women? Uh, I think, like you say, with Busanan's form being a little bit different, I would, despite Busanan being the higher ranked player um, and the seeded player here, I would say 
going into this match, the momentum is with Kim Gaon. She has tournaments behind her more recently, and she's coming off of a really good performance at the Australia Open with the silver medal, um, losing the final to Bei Wen Zhang. So I think in terms of current, currently being up to match speed, I'm going to give it to Kim Gaon. But if we're looking at overall who I think is the better player when they're both 100%, I would give it to Busanan. So this is going to be a tricky extremely one. Extremely <laughs> interesting. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And I mean, also, she has had one of, which would favor her here, Kim Gaon, is the fact that she's played in this arena already yes. and has a better understanding of what is required playing on the courts here. This is Busanan's, Busanan's first outing. Ladies and gentlemen. On to the courts. On my right. So it'll be interesting to see how she handles it, especially at the start. Absolutely. I have played her in that Malaysia Open and Hall, left, Kim though, Gaeun, and Bushnan can handle a drift. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she's a very experienced Love player, despite, um, I'm going to say, only right. being 27, um, because I am older than that. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, she's already, she's an experienced player, so I think she's played in much more difficult halls than this. But we shall see. Might catch her out. Service over. One love. You can see quite a bit of taping around Kim Gaon's uh, tie as well on the left hand side. We got tape all over the place yeah. with these two. I'm just. Um, Busanan's injury has True. been a little bit of an ongoing love. mystery. No one really seems to know. We just know injury. Um, but I'm, I'm looking just now and I'm seeing some tape on the upper quad. Um, right hand leg, I think. Um, so perhaps that is it. Perhaps that's unrelated. We don't know. But Three. Kim Gaon is also heavily taped. Okay. Yeah. And an e brace. And she had a really long first round. Yeah. So that must have taken a toll. Yes, but also I think sometimes it can give energy. Um, sometimes. There's that nervous energy, and you have a three-setter. You can blow away all the cobwebs, you can shake out all the nerves, and then you're settled in. Oh, that's a really good net retrieval there. Net cord. Busanan couldn't really do much Four about that. Love. And so she's uh, made the quick start here. Kim going Four love up. Unsighted. That side drift playing playing havoc up the, the middle line on a high serve. Yeah. So what I've noticed these last couple of days while we wait for the on-court review is that obviously players are playing it safe, playing it well within the lines, but also trying to keep it low as possible, yeah. not allow the shuttle too high. Absolutely. And so yeah. the drift therefore has less impact. Definitely. Yeah, way outside. And at the back, incidentally. <laughs> Out. Service over. So Busana Nongbang Rumpan finally gets on the scoreboard. That she will be relieved about. I would like it noted that I think that Busanan has one of the, the highest. I don't mean I don't mean her striking point, I mean how high she melts that shuttle on her serve. And it feels like a lifetime waiting for it to come down and reach your racket. It almost gives you too much time to consider what you're going to do. That's a really nice slap Six down that backhand side there from Kim Gaon. Well, was it, Five, it's interesting you mentioned one. that because yesterday I was doing the Okuhara Sindhu game and Okuhara's serve uh, Huge. is so high. I'm like, you were staring at the lights Absolutely. and get, can lose the shuttle. Yeah. And it really is a it really is a tactic that you can use. It almost seems counterproductive counterproductive to give your opponent more time. But in a big space Two, like this, five. to hit that shot cleanly when a shuttle is dropping vertically onto your racket, nigh on impossible. <laughs> so it kind of that really does limit their options. Well, now we know. There is intention behind those high serves. Yeah. Drift's going to carry that. That's the fastest way to Six hit seven. on this court is forehand to forehand. Six, two, 
for Bussanen. And this is where she will have to learn very quickly. Gonna have to rein that in, take a couple of inches off it. Nice, Smooth good counter. Hit. Yeah. Seven, two. I've seen this a few times uh, in this hall so far. One player just getting that immediate momentum, but it's not in, out of the question for Bushnad to catch up here, settle in, do some retrieving, feel out the hall. That's lucky. It's lucky. Yeah. Unlucky. True. I've seen that as well. The tape coming in the way for many players these last couple of days as they try to keep the shuttle low yeah. and go for the steeper shots. Some have been lucky where it's rolled over, some not so lucky. <laughs> Ain't that the truth of the game? <laughs> <laughs> Good follow-up from this man there. It's almost when Busnan plays a really simple net shot, Three, you're surprised because eight, she has so much skill at the net that when she plays something really simple and direct, that's almost the deception. So that was that. I think that that was the shot that led to her attacking chance and yeah. that follow up. Busan and Nongbang Rumpan making her eighth Three, World Championships eight. appearance. That's the experience that this lady has. That's a nice shot. Seven, seven, straight down. Nine, three. Made her debut back in 2013. Busana Nongbang Rumpan, the World Championships, that is. Lost in the second round then to Carolina Marin. Three games. Ten, Last year was her three. best finish, where she got to the quarterfinals in this tournament. That was my first World Champs, too. Yeah, the yeah. 2013 one. Yeah, in Changzhou. Guangzhou? Guangzhou. My Chinese cities is not my strong point. <laughs> no, it's fine. Especially when they all end with the Joe. Exactly. I, I can understand. <laughs> but yeah, that was my uh, first one too. That's pretty special, isn't it? To make when you get to your first world championship. Well, so. yeah. Busnan had Carolina first round. I had Tai Tzu Ying first round. <laughs> Similar experiences, I think. <laughs> I think I got a set though. Correction. Out. Service over. That must have felt like a big win. <laughs> yeah. At that point. At that point. <laughs> tai Tuing wasn't quite Tai Tuing, tai -tuing then. Yet. Yes. Play. But I'll take it. You could use that as your claim to fame. <laughs> I have done what others haven't. Yeah. Five, ten. Well, it was a big lead that Kim Gaon has uh, gotten herself here. Yeah, she was 10-3 up. Quick couple of points for Busanan. She needs to close that gap. Kim Gaon holds Eleven, on five, at the break. 11-5. And uh, she has definitely hit the ground running, you'd say. Yeah, solid start from Kim Gaon. Really using the space nicely. You can see she's more used to the drift than Busanan just now. There's definitely been a couple of errors from Busanan on that front. Confirmation there that we've had eight minutes of play and the score's at 11-5 in the favor of Kim Gaon. เพราะว่าพอเขาวางเสร็จปุ๊บอ่ะเขาเตรียมเคาน์เตอร์แล้วเราแล้วเพราะเนี้ยลูกหลังเราจะเล่นได้ก็ต่อเมื่อพอเรา
12-5. In this hall, I think it's really important to step through those block shots. It's definitely a mistake I made in our warming up days over the weekend when we got into the main hall. Um, just just messing up a few of those because it's the touch is just not the same as in my nice little training hall in Scotland. So really stepping through those block shots, which she seemed Busnan seems to be doing much better in this rally now. Kim Gunn's very much got the momentum here, got the, the initiative to this rally. And she was controlling it. Well played. And goes for the slower drop 13, right on the line. Five. But we haven't seen that, the, the sort of longish rallies that we do see a lot of women singles as well. That hasn't really turned up in this match just yet. Not yet. I dare say we'll see it between these two. Once they settle in a bit, Drift's going to catch that one, yeah. Service over. 6.13. So frustrating when the shuttle doesn't behave how you, <laughs> you, sh you think it should behave. Or intend to go where you want it to go. Yeah. <laughs> Well taken. Oh, Seven great seven. answer. Fourteen. She's finding her Six. lines well at the moment, Kim Gowan. Yeah, I think she's going for the tactic of hitting hard through that drift to so just not let let it catch it. So if you batter it down that line, the wind's not going to take much effect. But if you aren't as firm on it, the wind has time to do its thing. So she's playing a really firm, strong game just now. Well up. Busnan had a chance there definitely to take that point. 15, Didn't catch six. that smash correctly. But good fight from Kim Gan. She can't afford to have too many errors creep into her game. Just has to be wary of that. Try and play a little bit safer if required. Yeah. A little bit of indecision on that back line. I think that's the side, the side that Busnan is on. She has six. to be a little bit more careful hitting towards where we're sitting here. But Kim Gowan has free reign to hit as hard as she likes. It's very unlikely that she's going to get enough on it for it to consistently go outside of that back line. Whereas Busnan is, is with the wind. Yeah. Service over. 7-16. Kim Gowan has had the lead from the start of this game. Hasn't really looked back, or had to look back, I should say. She's kept to her game plan, and it's worked. Busanan still playing catch up. Good pressure into that backhand and then just not being able to execute in that front Eight, corner. 16. But she's she's also catching Busanan quite a lot in the front court. Yeah, absolutely. She's like Kim Gunn, I think, is in control of that net section right now. And she's controlling the match from there. This these games, especially the singles matches, will not be won from the back line. They may be lost from the back line, but they will not be won from the back line. There'll be one from the net and what control you can gain. Again, same error from Bushnan there. She needs to be careful on that, hitting that line, because it's the fastest one. Eight. It's a nine-point lead now. Eighteen. Consistently been able to string a few points together every time she does. Try to take control of the game. And that's why the gap has widened the way it has. And as quickly as it has. Wow. Again, Drift taking hold of that. I don't want to say every error on that side Nine. is Drift, but it's, <laughs> but it's just so evident where the shuttle just doesn't, doesn't land where it would yeah. naturally land. And also, I mean, if, it, if you instinctively like playing on one side, exactly, it becomes very difficult to change that. Yeah. 
And that's what separates the, the top from the middle, is the ones that are able to make those adaptations and have those options available to them through all the training and, and practice that we do. That's just gone sideways. So you, can, you can see, as even from this, this camera angle, 18. that would not normally go out. It's super frustrating for both these women. Yeah, just got to got to account for it. <laughs> Little check from Kim going there Seven to make sure she nice was shot. correct 19. to take it, and then yeah, like you Ten. say, hit a great shot. Just a light slower shot. Again, beautiful. Great placement. 20, game point, 10. That was a well-constructed point as well. Kim Gaon has taken full control, has multiple game points. Service over. She's trying to close out, of course. 11. As quickly as she can. She knows what a big advantage it is. This is a lady who's not only not won against Busanan, but hasn't been able to take a game in their previous matches against oh, Busanan. Wow, okay. So this is a big moment, of course, for her. It's all been straight game wins for Ong Bang Rumpan before this. That's nice to play. 12, 20. Finds the space between the lines. Yeah, that's the that being the fastest line of the shuttle. You can use it to your advantage if you're gonna use it to get past your opponent if you can control it well enough. <laughs> Thirteen, twenty. Just not being able to. control that side of the court, either of these two women at the moment. She's been, Kim Gowen so far has been so willing to, to work the rallies, play long rallies, grind uh, Busnan down. Perhaps she uh, will she'll be aware of the injury and maybe she knows she's not in the best position, but the last couple of rallies, she's just snatched at those kind of easy-ish points. But that is the kind of control we're used to seeing Busanan play with. She yeah. just gave Kim the runaround there in that yeah. point. Yeah, the control that Busanan normally has on a shuttle is, is incredible. And that will play on Kim Gowen's mind. She will know that she has to still play quality shots. Still a few match uh, set points to uh, to get it here, though. Yeah, she's saved 14, four 20. so far. Busanan Ang Bang Pan. It's now whether you can keep this momentum going. It's the first time that she's managed to string four points together as well. What a time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice shot. That's a drop 15, shot. 15, 20. It's a delight to watch. Five points in a row now. She was 10 20 down. She saved five game points. And I reckon a couple more, and she'll really rattle Kim Gaon. I think even even if she doesn't win this set, which statistically is unlikely, but it's not out of the question, if she doesn't win this set, she'll still be she'll have she'll have the confidence of the momentum behind her. She's into this game now. She's willing to work for it. She's tested out whatever her injury is, uh, game. but she's more ready for this. For the second set First now. Game, well, it is Kim Gaon who holds on there, 15. having converted on the sixth game point opportunity. She has ensured that she has the advantage, taking the first game 21 15 in 19 minutes. Went through a nervy period right at the end, 
came down but has seen through the challenge of Busana uh, Nongbangunpan in this first game. So she leads 21-15 after the first game. แต่ทุกครั้งที่แทงอ่ะต้องเข้าใจว่าพอแทงปุ๊บโคเวอร์ทันหรือเปล่าใช่ป่ะเออต้องอันนี้ต้องเข้าใจก่อนอย่างที่
beautiful. Six. I'd say one. that that stop drop is such a feature of the Thai lady singles game. I think it's quite typical of Bush in that you see the way she opens up and you have no choice but to brace for a smash. And then it's just and the control it's just of the, the rack ahead down. I'd say it's a big feature of, of Bushnan's game and it's a big feature of Ratchnock's game. Whether that Bushnan has been influenced by Ratchnock yeah. over the years uh, is, is possible. I mean, that and the around the head cross court forehand. Sure. Absolutely. That's trademark Ratchnock Intanan Busana Nong Bang Rumpan. Even Chacha Wong. Nitsha, 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 yep. uh, Jinder Paul. Back in the day. Six. Absolutely. Who's coaching now? It's saw her in Slovenia. Oh, nice. Oh. Unlucky. Oh. Three, six. Let's not take anything away from Kim Gaon. Working hard here. I think Busanan looks more energetic. She looks more up to speed, but she's still a bit laboured on those lunges. They don't seem quite as smooth as they normally would. Maybe not getting that full extension into them. So Kim Gown definitely has some opportunities and some windows to to place those shots down there and get some weak replies. Her last tournament, real run into a tournament, was the Malaysia Masters in May. So it has been some time that she's Four, six. been out of action. Mm. Got some competitive matches in the belt. I mentioned she went to Canada to try and get back into competitive matches and withdrew in the first round against Kawakami. Yeah. She almost maybe wishes she wasn't seated here. She almost maybe wishes she had a slightly lower level easier first to get round the earlier match, run in yeah to get a little feel Five, for it test six. herself out but hey she's she's holding this set pretty well um, and she's definitely still very much in this match well we saw in the earlier match where kim and kong were nearly out at one point and they came back Yesterday we saw Sindhu have a nine love lead that then disappeared very, very quickly. Yeah, funny how that can happen, isn't it? Yeah, so, you know, this arena, it's definitely, it's not over till Service it's over. Seven, five. Nice return. return. Really nice return. Six, seven. Him down, and of course, riding on the confidence of that Australian Open final. Exactly the kind of warm up she would have wanted coming into the World Championships. Good stretch. This is a really good rally, really controlled from both sides, neither one taking too much of a risk. And then just that really nice place so from Busnan. Again, that open up of the shoulder, and then just brings it down before Eight. the service line. Six. I don't think many people understand how difficult that is to do, to get that control. And also to okay. read on foot. the other end. Oh, yeah. Your foot. Absolutely. You see Kim Gowan having a little stutter there. Wondering whether she was going to go for the smash or not. Yeah. Eight, six. Variety in Busanan's game. Also then leaves the opponent more confused because she can play these shots at will, mix it up really well. Absolutely, you've got to be ready for everything. Just out of reach. Service over. Did really well to get that pass pushing on there. Seven, 
It wasn't a very high shot either. No, Busnan just relaxed that racket a little bit too much after that initial push. Didn't spring it back up quite fast. I don't think she was expecting that to come back with such whip. One point game. Last time. Service over. Let's land it out. Good covering of that line, Nine, but seven. not able to get around the outside of the shuttle enough and just guiding it out. And I think the, the more Busanan plays, she'll try and get Kim Gaon to play on this side, yeah. but use the other side to just pull up, you know, put her points away. Definitely. When Busanan's in a good position, she can go down Kim Gaon's backhand side. But for all other slightly out of position, safe, when she needs a safe place to play, is up this forehand side that we're on just now, currently. That's a nice net, it's good control. Good placement. Ten, that is seven, wipe the copies. Fantastic badminton we've seen from Busan Anong Bangumpa, and she showed there that she really can Mix it up, goes for the net shot and then behind. That way. puts it away perfectly. Thank you. He's now 10 7 up. You can see the confidence in her now as well. Her shots are, she's more committed to her shots. Her movement is, in, is improved. Seeing that Kim Gan is still very much in this and, and 10 7 is, is not the most comfortable lead to have. And three points is very quick and back and come and go. Yeah. Ten in a seven. Very, very blink cool. of an eye. That's good control. Good now. judgment. 11, 7, it's a well to leave it. And that means that it's Busanan Ongbang Rumpan who has the lead at the mid game break. 11, 7, leads by 4. And uh, really, since 1 all, let's say Busanan has taken charge of the second game. <laughs> ไม่ได้ถ้าเกิดเจนุผมก็ตะลุกกับเกเฮเดียเดนเลยคือดาจิโกไจบุลเตกเกิลเจนุผมก็ตะลุกกับเกเฮเดียเดนเลยคือดา
That's a nice shot. That's a nice shot. Yeah. That's a really Nine, nice shot from 13. Kim Gaon. It's good to go count back counter on that because the player playing that cross left is going to expect the straight reply. So if you can catch them on the cross again. Oh. Service over. 14-9. In and around the net is definitely one of Busanan's strengths. Like, I don't think I can explain how difficult it is to control a shot like that. I wouldn't say... It's so close and I to mean, the net. Absolutely. I, I mean this in no disrespect, but Busanan is not the most physical player. She's not up jump smashing. You can see that that lunge is kind of in with the right leg, stabilised with the left. But running through that lunge, but the shot quality that comes off of her racket and the things 15, that she can create with nine. with shots is incredible. That's really where her, her strength lies. Well, we were talking about it at the break and she has been working on the physical aspect of her game with her coach. Ice. Yes. Big and ice. <laughs> the ice man cometh. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, she's definitely a lot into her fitness now and Maybe we'll see her inject some of that power. Absolutely. Oh, that's completely missing. Service over. Overcooked that. 10, 15. Long night. The man we were speaking of just a moment ago. It's always calm. Oh. Doesn't let anything away, <laughs> give away. It's cool, man. Even when he gives the instructions, it's just like... 11, 15. Very straight. Yes, I would say Bushnan can be double-edged sword to having good skills, but difficult to control them in, uh, in difficult conditions. Sometimes she can get a little bit carried away. And like I say, sometimes when she just plays the direct one, that's almost more surprising. Good reactions from Kingan. Oi, I'm lucky. That good luck she had in the first set. 16, yeah, 11. Come you, can't, when, you can't have them all, right? No, evens out in the end. I yeah. <laughs> that time, unfortunately. <laughs> Listen, I knew she got away with that there. She absolutely got away with that. Well, she'll take it. She absolutely. Five point lead as a result. The indecision from Kim Gan because Pusanan's length was so good there on that serve. And again. 17, Finds the net instead. 11. Kim Gowen and just. And she was going for the steeper shot there. Try to get the angle on the forehand, but. Yeah, I don't know if with Kim Gowen right now, I don't know if it's a mentality thing, if she's trying to hit these winning shots and put too much quality in them that she's making errors, or if 18, it's an actual execution um, trouble with the not catching the shuttle correctly in the air, with the, with the drift and the timing. Hard to tell. Bit of both, maybe. Yeah. Good retrieving from Busnan. It's called out. Kim Gaon challenges. He has challenged it out. this time, Kim Gaon. A fair challenge. I think it'll be quite close. I'm going to say out. Yeah, it did look like it was heading mm. out the, the the direction of the shuttle. I don't know if we're just used to seeing those ones <laughs> all, almost always go we out. predicted going out yeah. first. Ah, we were right. Yeah, <laughs> that is well out. Yeah. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 19-11. So two points away from evening the scoreline is the 13th seed. Hey. Service over. 12, 19. Again, she goes for that steeper forehand. Them King Gowan will be very, well, pretty happy that she managed to clinch that first set because Busnan has been very much in control of this set. And 20, like I say, the momentum, 12. the momentum was with Busnan from 
ten, from, from when her when she was ten to fifteen in the in the first. Year. Yes, absolutely. That's when it changed, and yeah. now we have numerous game point opportunities. I'm wondering what else Kim Gowan can bring to the table here. It is a matter of being more consistent. It's out. Maybe so when she, I, I mean, again, 13, this game looks like it's 20. pretty much over. Maybe when she change ends, that could play that a part. That could play a part. But she, if she gets a big enough lead, that was out. That was serve was out. Um, yes, that could help her. Definitely, but Busanan is applying constant pressure. 14, yep. 20. Exchanges are definitely favoring the Thai player at the moment. It's a little bit unlucky because she has been quite accurate yeah. on that end. Just over, severely overcooking those ones because the, the wind should help to hold that up a little bit. Bursanan does not need to go that tight with these skills. Kim Gunn has been making some errors. Unsighted. Okay, so that was unsighted, so they will get the on-court review on that. But Bursanan seemed pretty confident. She did. She let it go. I the other the previous serve at 13 was almost definitely out on the on the side. Yeah. But she decided to play that one. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if is this a, are we checking back line or side line here? Both really. Yeah. Doesn't really matter if it's out in one of them. Yeah. But, but I think uh, it's the back line. Sure. It must be tight if it takes. A few extra seconds, <laughs> that's always what I think. Or they just, they, you know, they've been watching the badminton and they're not re quite ready and then they have to like, suddenly click a few buttons, you know? <gasps> I hope that's not the case, but as in... That's Arian. right Arian. on the T. 16, That's what you want 20. from a serve. Exactly. It couldn't have been more accurately placed. <laughs> yeah. so you could look at both lines. You were talking about the sideline, the back line. It's like... And on both. <laughs> Okay, Busanan just needs to stay solid here. I don't think it, Kim Gunn has has been more resilient in these last few points, but Busanan has also relaxed a couple of percent and really not kept that kind of, for lack of a better phrase, chokehold <laughs> that she's had for most of this set. That's in as well. Well, to, well judged by Kim Gunn to get the right 20. weight on that. And like very similar to the first game, Kim Gaun has strung in her only good strings of the yeah five points in a row yeah remember it was 2012 yeah and now here we are at 2017 so it's five points in a row that's her longest run of points yeah i don't know if bus and i just got a bit ahead of herself she was already picking up her bag and moving to the other side and she's <laughs> forgotten to actually seal this set off i think that's going to be interesting now because 18, she has the first 20. game this is a chance here. It's Absolutely. an opening. And it almost doesn't matter that this has been a comeback. You have to just forget this there's been a run of points and we just look at it as 2018. Yeah. Both players are gonna want to be very safe right now. That's how she's done it. Okay. Yeah, that was oh, that was a bit one very one close. One 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 yeah, that was close. Too she close for comfort. But Busana Nong Bang Rumpan. The tongue comes out. She knows <laughs> it. That was but see. At the end, she comes through. She levels the score. 21-18 in the second. We're going to a third here. And uh, wow, this could go either way, the way things have panned out in this match so far. ที่จะมันเดินออกมาตลอดฉันคิดว่าถ้าเกิดจะเล่นมุมหลังเนี่ยให้ออกแบบโด่งนิดนึงอย่าไปแทงมากเพราะมันเข้ามือเขาใช่ป่ะพอแทงปุ๊บแต่แทงถามว่าแทงได้ไหมอ่ะมันแทงได้แต่ถ้าเกิดหนูแทงต้องแบ
แทงปุ๊บแล้วรอแทงปุ๊บแล้วรอนึกออกปะรับรับลูกตบก็เหมือนกันเวลาเขาตบมาอย่างเงี้ยแล้วเราดาดกลับไปอย่างเงี้ยเราต้องรอช็อตสองให้ดีเพื่อที่จะให้เขาวิ่งพอเข้าใจปะแต่ฝั่งเนี้ยยังไงก็ต้องพร้อมขาต้องเร็วไว้ก่อนถ้าขาช้านิดเดียวโอเคเซตอัพเกมใหม่ได้ก็คอนโทรลมือนิดนึงอย่าเผลอเกมแรกเราเผลอแทงเยอะเปิดเกมไม่ดีแต่เกิดฝั่งนี้เราเปิดเกมดีอย่างน้อยนะเออสวิตไซส์นะอย่างน้อยไปฝั่งอีกฝั่งหนึ่งอะเรายังพอคอนโทรลได้เนื้อออกเพราะว่าตอนนี้เขาไม่มั่นใจยังไงเราต้องแข่งไว้ก่อนอย่าไปยอมเสียง่ายใช่ไหมถ้าเราเสียแต้มแต่ตีนานเขาก็ฟอร์มเหมือนกันนะ20 seconds c o u r t w o 20 seconds Players back on court as we go into the deciding game, and uh, momentum game. certainly shifted away Level. from Busanan towards the end of that second game. But she held on to make sure that she still kept her World Championships campaign alive. Both players been pretty susceptible to mistakes and errors here. Case in point, One um, love. perhaps struggling with the um, the occasion of it. Um, this being a world champs, um, perhaps struggling with the the drift in this hall and the, the how huge this space is um, to try and get your skills kind of calibrated and dialed in for this uh, arena is pretty difficult. See, it's just flying out this side. One, oh. Bit of a big movement into that. It's just, it's net shot. It is that sort of gut feeling Two, to play a shot one. that normally would work in the arenas you're used to most of the time playing mm -hmm. in, and then it's having to make those little adaptions. Yeah, adaptations. It's easier said than done. Right? Oh, from up, from <laughs> as up you here. would know. <laughs> oh, from up here and from the coaching chair. Yeah, easy. easy. <laughs> oh, to try to Two. do it. When someone's oh. breathing down your neck and getting in your face at the other side. Yeah. <laughs> well placed. Really nice smash. But I, I mean, the other thing that, which is quite, which is, I'm, I'm going to say, really good to see is that given that Busanan's come off that injury, that mysterious injury, <laughs> she's moving really well. She's playing, I wouldn't Three, say, she's not two. at 100%. Of course, we've seen her game at 100% and it's not there yet but this is pretty close to that I'd say she's slowly finding her way back I think so I think this is good in terms of if she five add one to the tally <laughs> um, Three. Oh. and you can see her she knows she, you're so you're aware of the win but like you say you, sometimes you just can't get your your um, hand to match up with what your brain is telling you um, you just play on instinct um, but yes, if Busanan is managed, it does manage to, to seal this game off. Moving on from this, she'll be Four, more up to speed. You could three. see her; she was very sticky at the start. Yeah. But I think any um, any errors Busanan is making is more gauging the gauge, conditions. Yeah, it's more execution errors. Kim yeah. Cotton, I think, is is more likely to be making poor decisions, yeah. going for wild cross court smashes. Um, but Busanan seem to just be like kind of calibration errors. So when you over. play, when you play someone as Four. you know oh. who you've played before a few times in the past, and you see that first game, and you should instinctively kind of know, right, that that's not she's not up to her level. I should capitalize on it. Yeah, but very much easier said than done. Okay, um, because then the pressure's almost on you to take advantage of it, whereas should you really change from just what your natural sex? Um, <laughs> we could just Five. be counting numbers Four. here all day, you know, Kirsty, right? We could just be sitting here and just counting numbers, and um, I'm pretty sure that Dali's only going to go up uh, yeah. by the end of this evening. I can call you later and tell you how many we got Please in that do. corner. Please do. I want to see those tally marks. <laughs> <laughs> um... But yeah, it's such a, it, honestly, it's so difficult to play against someone who is um, 
Kim Gaeyun, coming, coming back from an injury, out. perceived to be injured. It's such an extra pressure on on you to really capitalise on that, and it can really it can play against you. I've played some of my best games whilst being injured, um, which sounds counterintuitive, but it's something in you kind of relaxes, or you know you have to be a bit more safe on those shots. You don't take as many risks. Sometimes that is uh, advantageous. So. One There's challenge remaining. So many mind games that go Service into it over. at the same time. Five, all. But I want to see what Kim Ga is going to do about this situation. Well, okay. we talked about taking advantage while she's on this end. Mm -hmm. Definitely. She can afford to hit. Well, okay, she marginally missed on that uh, shot there on that Hawkeye, but she oh. can afford to step into those Service ones over. and really give them a push. She doesn't have to be careful on this side. Six, I'd say when Bissanan is battling back she needs to be an ounce more careful on this back line and how much she can give the shuttle it was that it was almost that body shot that set this entire point up yeah so it's over that's a nice return you can see Busanan using using down oh. this uh, this left hand side down Kim Gowan's backhand that's been a good two or three almost direct points from it just because, again, it's a safe spot. The wind's going to bring it into that from that sideline. Good and turn. That's really nice. Service over. Good defensive work. Seven. From six. Kim Gaon. She absorbed that really well. There's a fair bit of pace that was put into that shuttle. I like to think that was a conscious decision. Yeah. I think to, so, because she did direct side. it a little bit. Absolutely. But to cover that side, give more um, mental energy to her backhand side, because Bustan's made some errors going cross-court, so she's l less likely to do it again. Really well placed Eight. into that round ahead. And we did see in the first game where she was getting that placement bang on. Yeah. Maybe that's what she's got to go back to. Just try and find the spaces on the court to put it away nicely. Definitely. I think she to go toe to toe with Busanan on a skill game here, not not smart. I think to overpower her, out physical her, make her do the hard work, I think is the is the route to go down. But again, Kim gown has got some heavy strapping on both legs, so whether she's got it in her physically we'll we'll have to see. Uh, that's gone well wide. Over kick that. Service but over. We also have to bear in mind we're Seven, eight. nearing an hour, the hour mark now in this match. Kim Gao and had 61 minutes in her previous match. Busanan is fresh yeah. in the sense that this is her first outing in this tournament. This is really going to test her physical, not just her physical ability, but also you know the mental side of it. Definitely to be able to perform your skills and have that kind of mental clarity whilst fatigued is Eight. one of the oh. things that we, we always train, but um, is one of the most difficult things. How do you train ever. for that though? Uh, pretty much make yourself really tired and then... <laughs> and um, then play. And then play, yeah. No, um, just to, yeah, to try and make those good, correct decisions whilst your legs are burning, your lungs are screaming. It sounds sciencey, but I, it's a bit of an art art to it. Better control from Busanan on those cross shots. Yeah. Ooh, oh, she missed it. She was Nine, all eight. geared up to kill that point off, Kim Gaon. It was a good follow-up, good smash, good follow-up. I don't know if she had to take that forehand. I think the forehand let it drop a bit more. I think if she, she would be on the up if she was going in with her backhand. She, but she wanted to nail that on the floor. Every uh, shot apart from that one block at the end there from Busnan was a cross-court shot in that rally. She Nine, is all. doing a lot of running. Yeah, and that's exactly what Kim Gowan would want. Yeah. Is to, because... 
that's the part, as you mentioned, Kirsty, that is not the best part of Busanan's game, the physical side of it. No. She likes to stay in the center and control the shots. 100%. Who doesn't? <laughs> Who doesn't? That's a nice, that's nicely placed. Just that little hold Seven and punch up. from Busanan. 10, 9. So she's got the lead here, narrow one. That little hold and punch. Well That's placed. Beautiful. Right on the line. Again. Ten. The accuracy of oh. that shot. Absolutely delightful. I think the 10 all scoreline here is, is fairly accurate of um, of how this kind of this match kind of feels in this third set. Neither player is truly dominating, I wouldn't say. Seven, seven, and both have been 11, quite susceptible 10, to errors. It's, um, it's not been a case of one's had all the momentum and the control and is just not getting the point. I feel like it has been fairly even, so. The scoreline feels correct. Yeah. Yes, it is indeed fairly even. It's very little separating the two right now. 11-10 at the mid-game break. We're in the deciding game, of course, which means the players will change ends after this break as well. So it's 11-10 in favor of Usunan Ongbangumpan. So 11-10 to Busan and Ongbang Rumpan. They've changed ends. Start the decider. And I think this is now exactly where she would have wanted to be when they changed ends. Because the gap is just a point. She was able to keep Kim Gaon at bay as much as possible. And this is plays into her cross court really well now. Exactly. Hopefully that will work now a bit better. But both players have been better, have won their sets on this side of the court. Yeah. So for Busanam to have kept it tight and to have been one point up coming from the other side, she's, uh, I would actually say, yeah, she's probably in a better position right now. And she's going to keep playing 13, into that 10, nice big that <laughs> safe base. Yeah, exactly. Left hand corner, I'll say, yeah. because we're facing Kim Gaon rear way. forehand. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just, even if Kim Gaon clocks on and becomes smart to it, there's very little that she can do about it, because it's still... Oh, that's a nice hold. If she prepares for it, she's leaving the rest of the court open, so it's um, catch-22 sometimes. I think that's where this match should be played up this half. And look at yeah, oh, beautiful. Both, both players are adamant that we're going to be staying over here. Oh, this is a war of attrition. And that's that skill. That's incredible. 14, Fantastic change of pace. 31 shots that rally. The touch to be able to do that and the clarity. And she just shapes up as if it's going to be another battered clear, takes the sting out of it, and it just drops like a stone over the net. She's fairly happy with this one, that yeah. one, I think. You saw the fist bump. <laughs> you knew she was happy with that one. <laughs> oh. Ooh. It's landed Sorry, out. Silver. Really whipped that. 11, 14. That's perhaps a little a little bit faster that way than it was on previous days. I've seen a few more go out the back on the on Kim Gowan's Fortnite. back line, yeah, yeah. than uh, than I have in the in the previous days. 
Oui. But in terms of conditions, well, sitting here, having, sitting, having been here the last three days, I would say today is the warmest. Yeah. I've, I've worn a jumper or a, a jacket the last couple of days because it was cooler. Mm. Today, it doesn't feel so cold. Maybe they're adjusting. They're controlling, yeah. They're learning, yeah. And there's a few Danes spread out throughout the day here, so the crowd is a bit more consistently full, 13, yes. I would say. 14. And it is going to be a sold-out arena on the weekend. I bet. So that's going to definitely be a very different condition to what the players are playing now in. Yeah. Service Did over. well to get there, Kim Gowan, but just couldn't get enough 15, height. 13. She has closed that little gap that formed, though. It's, um, she's back within two, which is, is an OK place to be. Busnan still's got that, that little cushion of a lead, though. She strung about three points together before this. Oh! I'd say both players playing noticeably 16, safer, 13. noticeably more up the, we call it the zip lines of the court. There are kind of lines that you can't see <laughs> where the court joins. Yeah. About the middle, midway of each box. Yeah. 16. Both players are. In the that safe lines. Rally, safe lines, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The safe zone. Yes. Um, both players have been noticeably playing more in that in that space. And then when it's on, they've gone for the shots closer to the lines. But I think they both realise that this game is being won and lost on errors. That's a good net exchange. Oh! oh. Kim Gaon she did hesitate there, Kim Gaon. I think that's a good challenge. I think that's a very difficult one to uh, to see. She did well to get that. And then she was preparing for the cross. Yeah, court. she was. And then she decided to leave it. I think this is going to be so close. It has oh. found the line. Oh, wow. Challenge that is absolutely... No. By a whisker. Remaining. That's unlucky from Kim Ga, and that was she was she was eighty percent right. Yeah, she was. No, I would say eighty uh, percent. That's like ninety-five percent. Like you're talking 95%. about five percent of the head of the Play. shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> so she's got unfortunately no challenges remaining as a result of that. Tough spot to be in. Thirteen, seventeen down. They were playing much more in this safe middle zone until they feel very confident that they can place it correctly wider. Good shot, good retrieval. Ooh, oh, that's completely misjudgment. Out of bounds. 14, moved around a fair bit, that's for sure. Yeah. But you also feel that Kim Gaon is playing a lot more confidently. Yes. From that end than she did in the second game, for Definitely. example. Well, I think just taking the sidelines out of the equation is is just good. You can you have so much more freedom. Oh, I wonder what happened there. Service over. Was it just like in a little trip? Asked for a... I think she's also Sorry. medical time now. Yes. yes, she wants. Oh, the spray. The magic Look spray. Like. It is a magic spray. Yeah. Seems to have done wonders for Kim So Young in the last match. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, set point down. Yeah, that was match an interesting time. Down. Match point down. To be allowed to take a time out. I know, right? When you're at match Ooh. point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure that there's going to be conversation about that decision for sure. But in the same breath, like if you needed a medical time, I know. I mean, if you, it, it's very hard yeah. to be saying, "Oh, well, you know, how do you decide if someone needs a medical timeout or someone's just playing that strategy?" Player umpire trust. Yes, but I also think that there are certain points where you just maybe not give that Eat medical pain. break. I mean, you can't. I, I can't imagine it being a match point. Yeah, must you right at this second? Yeah, like, but hey, maybe. <laughs> well, that's for another day. <laughs> we can see Kim Gaon 
needing that spray in various places. Ankle, Ankle knee. knee. And she's already really heavily taped up. Yeah. In the quad or thigh area. I think she typically wears the right knee brace all the time regardless. Yeah. Uh, but the, the left quad strapping is new. She's also been playing a lot of tournaments recently. Yeah. So that's taken okay. a she'll hit be... on her body. Yeah, she'll be really looking to get that number two Korea 18, spot 14. for the Paris Olympics. And for Play. that to happen, she needs to be within the top 16. And currently she is just out with that. Is she 17? Am I right in thinking she's 17 in the world? She is 18. 18 in the world at the moment. Close. Not far off. Yeah. Service over. Good rally. And Kim Gowen's upping the pace, 18. but in this small area. She's not spreading the court wide. She's not giving the drift a chance to take hold of it. She's keeping it quite tight. Yeah. Playing in a small space. Good placement on that clear. That's Good judgment. Well out. Service over. From Kim Gowan. And 19, now, 15. not only does she trail by four, but Busanan is just two points away from victory. Yeah, I think body language is so interesting and important. Just you can see the shoulders go down. This little light is faded from Kim Gowan's eyes. So I, I want to see her fight for this because it's still so within her grasp. Good. Oh, oh that's, that's just a fantastic Fancy. work Metpoint from Busan and Ongbang Rumpan. That's a gorgeous shot. Yeah, just the way she comes off that power and really controls that racket head and just guides it down. She and makes it look so easy. It's and so to do not. it to bring up match points. Absolutely. <laughs> Our number of match points. What a time to come up with the goods. Ooh, wanted that too much. Service over. 16. They've so got four match 20. points here. Busanan will know all the pressures on Kim Gowan currently. All Busanan has to do is send the shuttle back. And we've seen Kim Gowan's quite susceptible to errors in, in, in a lot of areas of the court. But that's not to say that Busanan can relax. She's got to stay alert throughout. Oh, Kim Gunn giving Bushnan a taste of her own medicine with that little stop drop. Oh, she's Overcooked missed it. it. Okay. Yeah, it is a win for Busanan Ongbang Rumpan on her road to making a comeback. Back in action and back to winning ways is the number 13 seed. She wins 15, 21, 21, 18, 21, 16, 16, 68 minutes. 18, 21, 16. She must be really thrilled with that. She'll be very happy with that performance. A bit sticky at the start, but really <laughs> found some really good badminton. And to be fair, Kim Gowan gave her a, a good, good first set, but couldn't really find that, that same rhythm in the second and the third. Big, big sigh of relief and also a big cheer <laughs> at the end, I'm sure, for Busanan Ongbang Rumpan. Happy person. Took three games, but she's through to the third round. Well, we are going to move on to the men's singles discipline next because coming up is the evergreen Anka Long Angus, who is, uh, of course, taking on the silver medalist from the Pan Am Championships this year in Uriel Francisco Canura Artiga from El Salvador.